Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170, and today, guys, I'm gonna be making a video about the upcoming screen recorder called Evrecord. For those of you that don't know what Evrecord is, it is it is made by the same developers of IREC, which the same developers of IREC is the I know Jailbreak team. So this is basically kind of like a IREC 3.0, but there's I believe they're starting from the ground up with a new name and everything. And this app looks extremely, extremely promising. I literally cannot wait for it to get released to make a, a tutorial on how to get it. Now, I don't know if this is going to work on iPads or not, guys. I know a lot of you are actually iPad users, which shocked me. I think iPads are gross and nasty. They're too big, and they bother me, and they make me mad. I'm going to stop talking about them before I start getting angry inside this video. But anyways, a lot of you guys tell me that a lot of the screen recorders that I make videos on, uh, they, they just don't work on iPads. So I cannot say if uh, this new screen recorder is going to work on iPads or not. You're going to have to contact the Inel Jailbreak team on Twitter and ask them if it can support this iPad and yada yada yada. Hopefully it will, but there's a chance that it might not because there just might be something wrong with iPads to where they just don't want a screen record. But yeah, anyways guys, so before I start this video, I just wanted to say a couple more things. If you're wondering how I got the beta, the reason why I'm one of the beta testers is because I'm one of the reasons on why this app is getting released to the public. I'm actually getting it signed by Tutu like a lot of the other apps I've gotten signed. I've gotten Airshow signed, Photoshop signed, Arrow TV signed. I'm pretty sure there's a couple more I've gotten signed, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyways, guys, I'm getting that signed, so then all of you, uh, all of you other guys can actually get this signed, or downloaded, whatever, tomato, tomato. But a little bit of history on this app before I start this off. This app was originally going to be called Mega Rec, but that has changed to Every Chord, and it was also originally going to be a website like Video. Uh, if you guys don't know what Video is, go ahead and check out my video on top eight ways to screen record. Just go ahead and search AJ170 Screen Record on YouTube to find it. But yeah, they were originally going to do that, and I tried convincing them to actually make a native app, but no luck on there. But thankfully, they've actually decided on their own to make a native app because I'm more of a fan of native apps. I, I that's just how I am. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait for the release of this, guys. I think I'm trying to get a little bit of hype started for this. So yeah, so before I start the video off, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you're a new, support the 170 and subscribe. So with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video and show you guys this new sexy, amazing app, guys. So let's go ahead and meet you over on my iPhone now. Alright guys, to please do remember that this is inside of early, early beta, so a lot of things will change. A perfect example of that is the icon right there will be changed, guys, and there could be more actually changed. So let's just go ahead, and when you guys first open up the app, it should actually look something like this. So let's go ahead and look at the settings. There's dark mode, so if I just go ahead and change that to light, double click the home button, force close the app, let's go ahead and reopen it, and as you guys can see, the black bar on the top has gone, and it looks more like the iOS settings. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of settings right here, guys. I'm not going to read them out loud you guys can read them to yourselves so you can change the resolution the fps which is 60 fps which is extremely rare i believe this is one of the first screen recorders to offer it no jailbreak you can even change between microphone and device audio can change the uh, sample rate and even if it's stereo or mono which is absolutely amazing more settings than what video had and if we go ahead and look at the uh, extra info settings, it shows the three developers of there, the version, and you can even check for updates directly inside of the app. Now, I don't know how that's going to work with Tutu or not, but you guys want to screen record something unique is you have to name it. As soon as you guys name it, uh, you're going to hit enter, and what's going to happen is, is you should see a something that looks like this. And after doing this, uh, with me, it changed like basically on whatever settings I had, the longer this showed. But normally, within 30 seconds of this being up, this little screen right here is going to automatically kick you to the home menu and it's you're gonna see the red bar and it's the you so you know you're gonna screen record if you guys go ahead and look at the picture right now, see the red bar on the top, as you guys can see, it says every chord right there, meaning that the screen recorder is actually recording. And if you guys look at every chord in the bottom right hand corner, it even has a one as if it's got a notification while you're recording to even show you you're recording again, which is really, really cool. I have never, ever seen a screen recorder do that. I, I don't know. I, I like little things like that. It, it's just something that amazes me when you see little things like that. It gets me all excited. But uh, yeah, so as you guys can see inside of the next screenshot... For when you guys want to stop the recording, you open the app up and hit done, and you guys are going to come up with this confirmation to make sure you don't you don't accidentally stop your recording. This is really, really good for people that have slippery fingers or whatever the case might be. 
So now if we go ahead and go back to my screen recorder, I did have to redo this. So when we go ahead and open up the app, if we go to recordings, and here's all your recordings right here, there will be the name that you have to custom name them. If we go ahead and tap on it, we can play, rename, save to camera roll, share and delete. If we go ahead and save it to camera roll, it even comes with the loading and a success, which is really cool. Most of the time they just say loading and they don't even tell you if it is fully done. And if we go ahead and hit share guys, you can even share it directly to an app. And then you guys can delete it from here, or you can even rename it again in case you need to rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it Potato. And as you guys can see, it is now named Potato. And if we go ahead and delete, you can even delete all of your videos at once from that giant delete button, and it is gone forever. So that is my demo on the new screen recorder that is coming out soon, guys. I do not know a ETA, meaning estimated time arrival for this. It could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be a year. I literally have no idea. Idea, guys it's going to come out whenever it is done uh, the developers never really told me what really a timeline on when this could come out possibly I didn't even know the beta was ready it was just like boom here's the beta and I was like hello oh, sweet nice man so uh, yeah I mean I'm really excited for the screen recorder I think a lot of you guys are going to love this screen recorder I mean I cannot believe how many options it has there's literally so many options I mean these these people know what they're doing when it comes to coding I can't believe there's that many but uh, yeah, that is going to be just about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.